first thing that we got in our Telfar is keep that thing on you. Do I need to explain to you why I have hand sanitizer in my purse in this day and age? Probably not. Hey y'all, it's Jayla, AKA Jay Chanelli on the internet. Welcome back slash welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Today I'm doing a what's in my bag video. Shout out to Jada for recommending this video. And we are specifically gonna do a what's in my Telfar bag. I've seen Kenzo on the tube do this video. So shout out to you Kenzo as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all what is in my medium size tan Telfar bag. So if you're interested in this video, go ahead and keep on watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and join all 17,000 of us over here, okay? We lit. Bringing you hair, makeup, and lifestyle content. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell so you can know anytime I'm posting a new video. First thing that we got in our Telfar is... Wet ones, wet wipes, because because y'all is nasty, okay? <laughs> no, seriously though, I bought these because in the age of a Corona Barona, you gotta keep that thing on you, okay? So these are fragrance-free, extra gentle hand and face wipes for sensitive skin. We used to use these in elementary school all the time. Next up in our Telfar, I have a travel size Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 from Fenty Skin. If you're looking for a sunscreen, this one is very fragrant. So I don't know if I would recommend it. I got used to it and I kind of like liked it after a while, but it is pretty fragrant for it to be a skincare product. Next up, let me go ahead and get these out the way. I got a couple snacks in my bag because I'm not trying to be hungry. I got these, uh, this snack mix from Southwest when I went to DC. So, you know, it's just a little snack mix, okay? It, it really held me over because I was real hungry. Um, so I had two of them and I still got one left because I ate one. But I got some snacks. <laughs> I also have this very crunchy Nature Valley Crunchy Ulta Honey Granola Bar. Y'all, these granola bars is good, but they are the worst thing to have in your purse because these things is so, they just, they make so many crumbs. Moving right along. I have this Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream in my bag. So I'm sure y'all know about this product, okay? This is the infamous Boom Boom Cream. I use this as a hand cream because I hate when my hands are ashy. And my hands get ashy a lot, actually. I'm pretty sure I have eczema on my hands. I also just naturally have dry skin. So I have to apply cream to my hands a lot. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this before I put it back. But yeah, I'm a dry skin shouty. And I don't just say that about like the skin on my face. It applies to like the skin everywhere. So my hands really do be ashy. And that is unacceptable. So moving right along. Something else I have in my bag Shout out to Kenzo once again because it is the Dossier Floriental Almond Perfume or Eau de Parfum. So I'm sure you've heard of Dossier before because everybody and their mama be doing sponsorships to them. Let me preface this. This is not sponsored. I'm just letting you know because I have it in my bag. But Dossier is basically like a fragrance dupe company. So this particular Floriental Almond fragrance is a dupe for our Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Gone. I was about to say good girl gone bad girl. That is a Rihanna album. Carolina Herrera's good girl fragrance. Fun fact, when I bought this, I had never smelled the Carolina Herrera scent. I just bought it because I really liked the notes. And as you can see, clearly I liked it. Yeah, I really, really do like it. And this actually inspired me to buy the real deal, which by the way, if you're ever wondering if like dupe companies smell exactly like the original, in my personal opinion, it doesn't smell exactly like the original, but I really do like this. And again, shout out to Kenzo, cause Kenzo is the one that put me on to Dossier. I'm pretty sure she's like the first like influencer that I saw doing Dossier videos. So she has a discount code. I will leave her discount code in the description box below if you would like to purchase from Dossier. Next in my bag I have a satin scrunchie I have a mask this is actually a mask from my alma mater Vanderbilt University they gave out these masks for free if you made a donation so yes I donated a little bit of money to get this mask because <laughs> I really wanted it so yeah I keep a mask obviously for obvious reasons <laughs> come on look around read the room some things that are in my purse that should not be in my purse. I have a whole bunch of beads, hair beads in my purse. I tried to put beads in my hair while well, I did put beads in my hair and all the extras fell out. These don't need to be in my purse, so I'm actually gonna take these out. What else do I have in here? 
have a pen and not just any old pen, a Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen. You know you gotta keep a pen in your purse because what if you need to sign something? What if you need to write something? You gotta have a pen. I have a bullet journal. Y'all do know that because I have posted a video about my bullet journal before. Fun fact, when I was younger, I used to really be a klepto for writing utensils. So like I used to like watch people in the classroom and I used to wait for them to like drop their pencils and their pens and I used to pick them up. Especially in college because you know that's when people like really spending money on their pens and I used to be like don't mind if I do. I do not let people borrow my pens. I will watch you. If you use my pen, I will watch you the entire time and make sure you put, get it back to my hands. Probably because I used to steal them myself. I have a little explaining to do before I get to the rest of this. So that was basically everything that is in the body of my purse with the exception of another purse. <laughs> I have another purse in my purse. We'll get to that later. But right now I'm just gonna show you what I have in this actual pocket. I have more masks because you can never have too many masks in the age of a Corona Barona. Oh, so I have pictures of me and my friends from when we just went to, when we just went to DC. I don't know if y'all can see me in this picture. I'm over here. Fun fact, you see this, the shirt that I'm wearing, the top that I'm wearing, that's this scarf. We love an innovative girl, okay? I'm actually gonna post a video about how you can tie head wraps and head scarves. So if I have already posted that video, I'm gonna link it above. But anyway, let me show you the actual picture. This is me and two of my friends from college. These are my little babies. These are my jits, child. So in the middle, we have Garcy, and Garcy was actually my roommate junior and senior year. And then on the left, we have Amber, and Amber was my mentee when she first came to Vandy, and we also danced together. We all three of us danced together as well. And I had these pictures in my purse because the last time I wore this purse was probably in DC. I have the tag, the Telfar tag that I've already shown y'all. If you don't already know, this is the logo for Telfar. What else I got in here? Oh, I have a little keychain because my daddy got this from me from Jamaica. We got another pen, period. I have some lip gloss. I have this Maybelline Lifter Gloss and this is in the color Brass. So I have this in my purse, you know, you have to have lip gloss in your purse. That's literally like, the rules. I have some hand sanitizer because do I need to explain to you why I have hand sanitizer in my purse in this day and age? Probably not. A pair of contacts. I'm so proud of myself. If you don't already know, your girl has very poor vision. As a matter of fact, my prescription in my left eye is negative four and my prescription in my right eye is negative 3.75. I have worn glasses since I was in kindergarten. We are almost done, y'all. So in my purse, I also have some smell goods. This is a rollerball from K Alley. If you watch my Fenty perfume review, I told y'all, I'll be on that Sephora website like every other week trying to look at new fragrances. So on one side, gives you a sample of their Musk fragrance and it's called Musk 12. And I also on the other side, it comes in the vanilla. Last thing that I have in this little pocket, again, is something that should not be in my purse. And <laughs> they're rubber bands because remember I was trying to put the beads. I was trying to put the beads in my hair. I needed the rubber bands to go with the beads. So that's why that was in there. We're gonna take that out of there. We're not gonna put that back in. Now, the last thing that I keep in my Telfar bag is another purse, okay? <laughs> this purse is from Steve Madden. I'm pretty sure I got it from like TJ Maxx a few years back. And in this purse, I'll kind of go through this one quickly. So this purse comes in two compartments. The first compartment is my actual wallet or like my change purse, dinero. I have another lip gloss. I have my identification card, which I'm not gonna show y'all. Credit card, debit card, all that jazz. And then of course my keys, house keys. This is my gym fob. The other compartment, this is kind of like my health slash safety. Masks, masks, masks. I have a pad from the L brand and also a panty liner from the L brand because you gotta keep that thing on you, period. I also have a tampon from the L brand. Shout out to them, y'all can sponsor me. I have Lysol spray. We're not trying to catch that Rona, not trying to do it. I have a Band-Aid, not for me, but for any kids that may be around that need Band-Aids because kids are always hurting themselves. Whatever little kid out there that needs this Band-Aid, I got you. Health and safety, I have my pepper spray. Keep that thing on you, okay? 
Okay. Am I allowed to show this on on YouTube? I have hand sanitizer, once again, health and safety section. I have a ponytail holder, which should not be in this section because it is not about health and safety. Come on now. In my actual Steve Madden purse, I have a zippered section. This is actually an old ID card from the school that I used to teach at. But if you watch my last life update video, you know that I'm no longer a teacher. I actually quit my job. If you have not seen that video, I will link it above so you can go ahead and watch it. Last but certainly not least, I have just hair items. So this is where this uh, ponytail holder needs to go. So I have a whole bunch of ponytail holders. I got a whole bunch of bobby pins. Right, y'all, so that was my what's in my bag, specifically my Telfar video. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I have a couple of questions, okay? Do you know about Telfar, first of all? Second of all, is there anything interesting that I have in my bag that you would have never thought to have in your bag. So answer those two questions for me in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, like this video so that YouTube can share it with other people. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.